Decision 2016 covers now. Tomorrow is primary election day in Wisconsin, and you're going to need a photo ID to vote. Julia Fellow joins us live with more on this story. Julia. Officials want to remind you, Carol, that even if you wait up until the last minute, you can still get a free state ID to vote. Turnout for tomorrow's primary elections is not expected to be high. It could reach up to 20 percent in Milwaukee County, thanks to the mayoral and county executive races. Statewide may only be 10 percent. That's why Milwaukee County Clerk Joe Zarnecki believes it is now or never to roll out the new ID rule. Well, there's never a good time to roll it out. Some people will obviously be disenfranchised because uh, the young, the elderly, the poor may not have acceptable ID. Driver's license, passports, and even college IDs are accepted at the polls. You do not have to have your current address on there, just your photo and signature. So if you go today or tomorrow to the DMV and get your state ID card, they will give you a receipt for that ID card, which will have your photograph on. You can use that to come and vote. Keeping the Greendale DMV very busy. I will say this weekend we were probably more busy. Um, Friday and Saturday were big business days. You will notice another change once you get inside the voting booth. Each uh, machine has essentially a built-in cell phone. Voting machines in Milwaukee County means new ballots. Instead of filling out an arrow to your candidate, you will fill out an oval with a pencil or a pen. The poll workers will push a button closing the polls. It will print out your election results and those election results will be automatically transmitted electronically. One extra thing, if you do bring a college ID to vote, you also have to show proof that you're still enrolled in that school, Stephen Carroll. Yeah, that's very important. Julie, with this new electronic ballot box, how are officials making sure that the votes are secure and the system isn't hacked? That's right. People were talking about it possibly getting hacked, and the Milwaukee County Clerk actually says it's even more secure than ever before. Everything is encrypted once all the votes are tallied, and also if anything fails, they have those paper ballots to fall back on. I'll go back the old-fashioned way. Okay, thank you very much. Julia Fellow joining us live. Here's a look at some of the major races tomorrow. Statewide voters will decide who moves on in the race for the Supreme Court in Wisconsin. There are three candidates on the ballot, the top two vote-getters, move on to the spring general election. In Milwaukee, there are four candidates in the race for mayor. Same for the county executive race. The top two candidates in each of those contests will advance. There are also a number of aldermanic races in cities across southeast Wisconsin. And you can find your polling place by going to our website, tmj4.com. Just go to the links section.